Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the geolocation API so you can access a user's latitude and longitude coordinates. You can use these coordinates to build a variety of different applications. For instance, let's say that you're building an application that wants to pinpoint a user's exact location on a map. Well, you can use their coordinates to do that. I've already written a blog about how to use the geolocation API. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. But I did want to create this video in conjunction to this blog so you guys can get a better understanding of how to use the geolocation API. This is what we're going to be building in this project. We're going to create this button. As soon as we click this, this is going to activate the geolocation API. And if we click allow, we're going to allow it to access our coordinates, which we're then going to use to make an API call to the Big Data Cloud API. That API returns all of this good information that we can use to build an application. As you can see, it has the continent that I'm located, the postal code, the state, the city, the county, and a whole bunch of other information. All right, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is create a button to allow the user to share the location. So let's create a button, and this is going to say, share my location. And we're going to give this an ID name of share. All right, now let's create an element of pre. We're gonna give this an ID name of result, and this is to store the results that we get back from the API. All right, let's move on to the JavaScript. And here we're gonna create two variables. The first one, we're gonna call it HTTP. And in this one, we're gonna be using the XML HTTP request object so we can make HTTP requests to APIs. So let's use the XML HTTP request class and for the other variable we're going to call it result and for this one we're going to get access to the pre element that we created in the HTML file and we give that an ID name of result. All right now let's get access to this button so when the user clicks it we can access their coordinates. So let's do document query selector share and then add event listener click and then here we're going to create a callback function called find my coordinates all right let's go ahead and create that function all right so two things can happen here either we can be successful in retrieving the coordinates of the user or not so we're going to use an if statement and let's do navigator dot geolocation so if we are successful, we're gonna write some code in here. However, if we're not successful, we're gonna, I'll put an alert message saying, geolocation is not supported by your browser. So let's type that in here. All right, but if the geolocation API does work, then we wanna do navigator.geolocation and we're gonna use the function get current position and this one is going to retrieve the user's coordinates all right let's go ahead and do a console log to output their coordinates so we're going to do position dot chords dot latitude and we also want to output their longitude so let's do position dot chords dot longitude all right if for whatever reason the geolocation API is not able to retrieve their coordinates, then we want to output a message letting the user know why. So let's do error. And we're going to do an alert message in here as well. And this one is going to do error dot message, right? So this is, this is going to output the message. All right. So now if we click on this button and we click block, Here's the alert message that we created in here. So this is saying user denied geolocation. All right, cool. So the next time that we refresh this, now we want to share our location. This is not gonna allow us, it's not gonna give us the option. It's gonna have this catched. All right, so to reset this, we have to go into our settings. If you're using Google Chrome, go ahead and click privacy and security, site settings. And then right here, this is the URL. You're gonna click ask default for the location. So now if we refresh this and click share my location, now you're gonna click allow. So this time, if you look in your console, 
you should be able to see your coordinates. So this is your latitude and this is your longitude. And this is all that the geolocation API does for us. It just accesses our latitude and longitude, but we can use these coordinates to make API calls to other APIs that is going to give us information about our location. In this case, we're going to be using the Big Data Cloud API. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this console log here and we're going to create a variable called BDC API. And this is going to be the endpoint for that API. So in order to know that, we have to go over to the Big Data Cloud API. Go ahead and click on this link. And you're going to click on documentation, reverse geocoding, and click on this link here. And here they give us an example of how they use this. We're going to go ahead and copy this. As you can see, this is the information that it returned. And this is what we want to return for our users as well. So I'm going to exit out of here and I'm going to create backticks and I'm going to paste that in there. We are going to delete this here. It says your API key. We're not going to use an API key. We're also going to delete this language, local locality and language. Um, and we're also going to add here, reverse geocoding hyphen. All right, so let's go ahead and delete the latitude that they have here. We're going to add the money symbol and brackets, and we're going to replace that with position chords dot latitude. All right, and let's do the same thing for longitude. All right, now that our endpoint is set up, we're going to call on a function called get API. And I don't know why it <laughs> did that. All right, so get API, and we're going to pass it in the BDC API variable that we just created, which holds the endpoint to the Big Data Cloud API. All right, so let's go ahead and create this function get API down here. All right, so to make an HTTP request to this API, we use the variable that we created at the top, HTTP open, and this is going to be a GET request. We're going to pass it in the BDC API endpoint, and then we're going to use HTTP once again. This time we're going to use send, so that's going to make the call. And now we're going to grab the response with HTTP on ready state change. We're going to add a function in here and we're going to add an if statement that says this dot ready state is equal to four and this dot status is equal to 200. So this means that the HTTP request was successful at which point we want to output the results on the screen. So let's use the result variable in our HTML equals to this dot response dot text. All right, so now when we click on this, it already has our coordinates because we allowed it to. And as you can see, it has this information about where I'm located in the United States of America. This is my zip code or post code as they call it here. This is a state that I'm in and it has all sorts of good information in here. It does not have city, but it does have locality here, which has the name of the city. Sometimes the city does appear. Let me refresh this and click it again. I've had it to where I refresh it, click on the button once again, and now it does have the city, but sometimes it doesn't. But I believe if you access locality, it will always have the city. So you can go ahead and use that for consistency. So currently, if we try to access this information, we can't because this is in a JSON format. So in order to access the information, you want to store the results in a variable, I'm going to create a variable called results and I'm going to do JSON parse this response.txt. And at this point, I can access the information. I'm just going to use a console log. So let's do results. No, I'm not going to use city. I'm going to use locality because the city was not working all the time. All right. So now if I click on this, all right, we know that's going to show up. Now I'm going to access my console and as you can see i was able to access the information so this is the, the name of the city that i am currently in 
copy. So this is how you would go about retrieving this information. All right. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.